Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is the Young Polar Bear Freeze, you know, once again live from the fifth dimension. Yeah, I was just thinking about this story where actually I was telling the story to a few of my people about uh, you know recording people, recording artists, younger artists or artists in general, you know, uh I'm a producer and nowadays, you know, most people beat makers, you know, producers, they don't really guide the artists into um you know, making the record, making the finished product, you know, because most of the time now is, you know, you send, e you send beats by emails or if you engineer, you know, you and you may give them a beat, but, you know, you don't want to ruffle any feathers, anything like that. You know, you're not, you're not uh, comfortable with them. You don't know them that good. But I got a story about, you know, a similar situation where, um, you know, I started off as a rapper, first of all. So me and my brother had a group. So my brother had this guy, I mean, dope, dope artist. He could, he could spit, you know, dope artist. So he came over, he wanted to record a song or he wanted to check out my beats. And, uh, this is the time when I had my vocal booth set up. So, uh, he was listening to my beats. He started immediately freestyling off one. And, uh, this particular beat wasn't finished. You know, it had, you know, the drums, hi hats, crash, all that good stuff. And then it had like a piano, you know, and a synth sound, you know, it had a West Coast feel to it. So, uh, you know, he was rapping and rapping. He said, hey, you know, he wanted to record it. So I said, cool. So, um, I mean, he a dope artist. Like I said, his voice was uh, nice. He had a good voice. And so uh, he was rapping. And I, at first I said, well, you know, he just, um, you know, playing around or whatnot. And, uh, you know, it ain't going to be nothing serious, too serious. So, uh, but me being me, I'm like, yo, he, I mean, if I push him in the right direction, this could be a dope, you know, a dope song. So, um you know, I was like, well, I, you know, he was stuttering, you know, over certain words. And uh, sometimes he won't say certain words, you know, loud enough. So the first three times was, you know, I said, yeah, you know, let's do this again. You know, take one, take two, take three. But then like the fourth time, I could tell he got kind of, you know, aggravated. So I kind of eased off. I let him do it a couple more times. And I said, you know, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. So it ended up being he had to do eight takes. And I said, just trust me, you know, so he, he did it. I said, just, you know, say it with feeling, say it like you mean it. So, uh, we got through it. I mean, he really nailed it. Every, every word, you know, how he was saying it. Yeah. And that's the other thing I was telling him, say it like this, you know, and I coached him, you know, it wasn't that I was trying to, uh, impose my will on him. It's just that I saw something in him that he didn't know that was there. You know, it was it, it, sometimes you need uh, outside influence to push you in that right direction. Const uh, constructive criticism, you know, so, uh, you know, so he listened to it. He, he loving the track, you know, he loving how he sound and everything. He said he he said uh, he told this he told this told me uh, that this is the best song that he ever done before. And uh, he he was very happy with how he sound, the ad libs and everything. You know, we had to do all that. So it took a. It took a while, you know, you did, just didn't run through it. You know, I didn't let him run through it because I knew the, the track was going to be dope. And so, uh, like I said, the track wasn't even finished. So I said, well, hold on, let me uh, go back and add more things, you know, the bells and whistles, you know, add more excitement in certain areas around the words that you're saying. And so when I did that, that track had came out to be one of the best tracks that I ever produced too because there's not many that I produced for somebody else. You know, uh, see, I know what I like and, you know, I know what to do, you know. So, uh, you know, it's no big deal for, you know, doing it for me. But when I can do it for somebody else, that's a whole nother story because you got to be able to communicate. And, you know, yeah, he got upset, but he didn't get upset to where he wanted to quit. So uh, that's one thing about being the producer, pulling out that star that is in artists. And, um, you know, I feel that I can do that, you know, so this is why I'm creating my channel now, you know, to reach out to let people know I'm here, you know, if you need, you know, any, um, pointers or anything, you know, uh, you know, if you want to come over, record and all that stuff, we, we set up stuff and, you know, go from there, you know, cause I'm a, I, I believe that I'm a real producer. So if you want to, uh, holler at me, holler at me. Or you find you a producer that, you know, y'all two can work with and y'all build a relationship and, you know, ask him, you know, how did this sound? How did that sound? And, and or tell him, you know, let me know, you know, what's going on. You know, what, what do you think? You know, how do you envision, you know, a rapper being over your beat? So, uh, producers, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to produce a record. 
uh, not just make a beat. You know, you just make a beat and send it out. It's gone. You really don't, you're not really putting your stamp on it. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the way of the world right now, you know, because it's easy just to send a beat. You know, they like to be, you, you know, throw you a couple of dollars and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm here to produce records, you know. So uh, appreciate y'all listening to my story. I'll be coming back with more stories, more videos. So, you know, uh, please like, subscribe. And, uh, hey, welcome to the fifth dimension. Holla at me.